Hi, every good day, everyone. I'm Hao Sun from Railroad Support Singapore. So today I'm going to have a quick demo on how to configure uh, Eternity data source to Steel Central Portal. So the very first step is actually we need to check the Steel Central interoperability uh, following this particular knowledge base article S27459. So we can click to the Eternity category and then we can check for Eternity SaaS what are the supported uh, portal versions so as Eternity 10 so both of them support uh, 2.00 and 1.52 on, on portal similarly we can check the same thing uh, by clicking to the portal category and ensure that under the alternatives both SaaS and 10 uh, so as uh, for portal 1.52 both alternative SaaS and 10 are supported so once we confirm that then we can start with on the portal just uh, verify this version from help about you can see that that is 2.0 so as on the alternative we can check that on the about as well and then this is uh, alternative SaaS versions so that is compatible and then we can proceed uh, with adding that particular data source so go back to the steel central portal then we can just go to the configure and then click on data source then we can select the data source from here and then copy the integration settings which is assessed from alternatives uh, settings and integration settings then scroll down to the steel central portal where you can see the host name port username and the last part is actually the password so we can just uh, copy that over to here let me paste it some of the information here then change the port uh, accordingly that is uh, this is a uh, authentic SaaS so that is a pretty simple just copy all this information and for the password actually it is hidden here there is a button to generate a new password for the security uh, concern okay so we can just uh, generate a new password from time to time so just click connect and then let it initialize and for Steel Central Portal, in order to add the data source, to configure the data source, you need to be have the one of the under the admin group for the user. And that is connected successfully. Then you can just get to the data source management page, which is here. Then scroll down, then you can see uh, my data source identity, and then you can click to the details. To see what the other software and then others uh, kind of information and its status and then you can refresh the definition if that is necessary okay so once that is done then you can quickly configure a new dashboard just create dashboard create then you can on the top right you can select from alternative category uh, where you can see about eight or nine uh, predefined uh, templates. So, for example, we just uh, click on the top talkers for Eternity and then just click create. Then, this particular dashboard will be created on the fly. Okay, same thing if you want to create a custom dashboard, you can just uh, select all. Under the category, choose the first one, the blank dashboard, then create next. Okay, let's say the alternative dashboard one. Okay, then choose a uh, data source from alternative. Uh, it's always good to try to use top end, but you can use navigating object tree as well to browse to the specific uh, object of interest. Let's say we just select the monitor application by its client time for example and then search now then you can use a live search so that it will change dynamically 
Then the metrics we want to uh, get into this custom dashboard is client time and server time, for example. Then just create panels, then and server time. Then you can just uh, click it on fly, or you can change some of the visualization as well. Okay. So you can see that, that will get you to this particular new uh, dashboard. Okay, And if you want, you can just uh, click to the home and you can see that this uh, default dashboard uh, has is been added. So as a custom dashboard, you can click it, that is the one. And then you can, once you confirm it, or you want to move it uh, to which particular display or, or area, then you can rearrange it and then you can check it to confirm that particular uh, dashboard is safe okay and you can also actually uh, if you do need this particular castation belt and you want to remove it just configure resources and then under the custom dashboard you can click those uh, uh, top talkers which will be created from the dashboard templates or the alternative dashboard one that is a custom one you can just check it and you can share or you even delete it accordingly okay if there is any issues uh, for connecting the data source we can actually uh, following uh, a verified page over here so i believe it's this particular this is your host name which you get from the uh, integration settings for SEO Central Portal and then after that uh, just put it in for the portal API and then v1 admin verified just check that and then they will prompt out for the username and password which is the SEO Central Portal integration users uh, username and password you can put in and if every one is uh, that particular connection is okay that will be verified over here. So for further information on setting up uh, authentic data source, then you can refer to this help patch. So the demonstration for this demonstration, we are using the SaaS, which is pre-set up for you for the authentic data source. But for on-prem, you need to install the optional authentic data source. Okay, And at the bottom of this particular patch, that give you the way to verify the alternative data source connectivity by using this particular uh, page we highlighted just now. Okay, so hope you enjoy your new portals and alternatives integrations. Thank you.